All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode here on the channel of XCOM 2, the War of the Chosen, the Clone Wars campaign. How y'all doing today? Hope y'all are having a good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Uh, and we are here with the Skirmisher class, the uh, the gent that we got in the last episode, Practical Mox. Um, I have changed it up some, and it actually kind of looks a lot like him. There, I mean, there's our some things that I can't change simply because it is a it is the skirmisher class. It was the same dealio that I had problems with with the Reaper class that I'm not really able to change the armor. But we are here with Hondo Onaka, the pirate gent, as I would like to prefer to call him. Um, he will be serving with Obi Wan in the two twelfth group, uh, and I think that's going to be pretty fantastic. It'll be a great fit. Unfortunately, there is no voice pack, and it looks like even if there was, I'm not really able to change the voice, unfortunately. So, um, there are things, unfortunately, that I have to, you know, deal with and everything. And, um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We are going to do a weapon upgrade slot to give him... Do we want to give him an auto loader? I don't know if we want to give him an auto loader. Oh, this is interesting. Hold on. Damon Crystal? What? What? Hold on. Let's go to, like, Obi-Wan, for example. Damon Crystal. Give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. First off, load out. Can I give you a uh, lightsaber? I can give you a lightsaber. That's pretty awesome. Can I upgrade that lightsaber? Oh, my God. Oh! <gasps> Um, ladies and gentle peeps, I just figured out, oh man, did I just figure it out, I just figured out, oh my god, guys, I just figured out how this mod works! I just figured out how it works. Okay, this makes a hell of a lot more sense. Okay, so it looks like what we need to do is we need to get to a point in the Proving Ground. I just figured stuff out. So we are working on two night lightsabers at the moment, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna assume that there are like maybe master lightsabers that we'll get access to at some point. And so we, we build those. Um, I'm assuming maybe a couple of them, if not more. I don't know. Ahsoka, we might keep a night lightsaber for her. Uh, but then, down at engineering... Down at engineering, we can go through and get all of the individ... They're kind of like, um, weapon upgrades. That makes a hell of a lot more sense, because I was thinking... Are these part of a different lightsaber and everything? But no, these are in fact upgrades for the le uh, the lightsabers that we build in the Proving Grounds. That makes a hell of a lot more sense. That's pretty cool. That's pretty it's darn cool. Hearing the chosen talk as if they were just like us. For all we know, they might have been us before the elders got to them. Okay, can I? I don't have enough engineers. I wish I had more engineers at this point, because this is getting kind of ridiculous. Um, but that's so great that we figured that out. That's really, really awesome. Okay. Let's look at what we're doing. I, I, I always like to look at that for this at, for numerous different reasons, because it kind of shows us when things are happening and where kind of deal. So we have Mace Windu's Jedi training done in three days. Goss weapons done in four days, which is great. Skulljack in four, supply drop in nine. Our first night lightsaber in ten days. Clearing out alien debris in thirteen. Our second night lightsaber in sixteen days. Uh, alien machinery in eighteen. Experimental ammo in twenty-one days. That's gonna be very interesting. We do have the guy. We do have somebody, Ashley Hill, in the proving grounds, reducing the time on the projects. That's still a long time. That's still a very long time. So, back Commander, to it. we've got local resistance forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. 
This is the headquarters of the Skirmisher faction. They may look like Advent, but they sure don't act like it. Now that we've established contact, we can scan at this location to gain additional support for our cause. You know them as they were, the soldiers of Advent. Now they are free to choose. If you stay your course, Commander, they will stand with you until the end. Alrighty. Commander, I believe it is time that we meet. I am Betos, first of the freed Advent. You are safe here. Praetor Mox was new to our cause, but he believed in our people's freedom, in this alliance, in you. Commander, I shall do the same. My skirmishers stand ready, should you need them. May our people stand united until the false gods fall. Okay. Okay. We are ready for more orders, Commander. We only await your choice. So we got some various things there. Whoops. I didn't want to use that. Resistance ring. We do need somebody in here, if possible. Covert actions. Have a covert operation underway, Commander. Yep, that's still underway. Time to complete. That is still underway. Um, yeah, faction influence behind enemy lines. Uh, which great. Is deployed on a covert action, Commander. We won't be able to initiate another operation until the current one is complete. I, I, I got you, Central. Don't worry about it. All right, let's go ahead and go back to the bridge. And let's figure out what we want to do. I think at this point, because the the. It was your intention to aggravate me further? God. Needing the aid of those traitorous dogs. Shut Thank up. You have succeeded. Okay, that 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 was nice. All right, I think we go for this supply raid over here. Avenger, uh, because not only is that gonna gain us some experience. But it's also going to gain us some uh, some supplies. Ahsoka is finally back. Nice. Tactical mission site located. All right, supply raid available. Nice. Let's get to it. For Western United States. And did we get base Windu? Commander, you should be aware we're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. All right, I think we go in with a completely new group. This is a moderate mission. Sit rep is that there are lost. Fantastic. The Chosen could also show up. They haven't for a while. So I got to be careful. I got to be very careful. We could go in with one of our Jedi. We could go in with Obi-Wan, which isn't actually necessarily a bad idea. I think having a Jedi on all missions whenever possible is not a bad idea at all. Um, if that's the case, then I would love to bring in Practical Mox. Um, or not Practical Mox. <laughs> Hondo Onaka. As he's now known. And, uh, let me see. Do I bring in... I think I bring in Cody? Cody's not a bad idea. Cody is never a bad idea to bring on a mission, unless it's Utapau. Um, <laughs> it's terrible. That's super terrible. Okay, load out. You have the magnetic rifle. Good. Can I give... What do you have as, as abilities? You have combat protocol, hack, and a protocol. Okay. So, we could give you the med pack, but you're not really going to do anything beneficial with it. I do need to change your nationality. That has been kind of bugging me. Uh, you are not Scottish. You are part of the Galactic Republic. Thank you, sir. And let's look at Obi-Wan's lightsaber here really, really quick. Can we do can we do a weapon upgrade with him? Increased damage. So this is a diamond. Uh, I guess it's stand in for a crystal and then we have this daemon uh daemon crystal here which does plus one aim plus 20 percent uh 20 critical chance plus 10 or wait hold on 
plus five damage. Bonus critical damage is plus one. Aim plus 25. Critical chance plus 10. Armor pierce plus one. Shred plus two. Yes. That destroyed the old crystal, unfortunately. But I think this is going to be a nice upgrade for Obi-Wan. And actually... You know, this is... I think this is his hilt or something very similar to it. Or not, not the hilt, but like... We can make this actually be Obi-Wan's lightsaber in terms of the physical look of it. So that's pretty darn cool. So we're going to take Obi-Wan out. And uh, Hondo and uh, Cody. Who else do we take out at this point? Took it, could take out Longshot. Who is a 212th member. I'm kind of thinking we need to get some of our lower guys, though. I will say that much. Maybe Colt? Bring in some Arc Trooper action? It's not a bad idea. Do Colt there. And maybe bringing in Fordo? The thing I worry about is that there's not exactly anybody that can heal very easily. Do that. We'll do this. I have absolutely no clue if that's going to be sufficient enough. Three to seven. It's actually not bad. It could be a lot better. Grenade launcher there. Have both grenades there. I think this is as good as we're going to get for this mission. It is moderate. We do have the skirmisher here in uh, Honda Onaka. So this is going to be this is going to be interesting to see what we can do here cuz you know the chosen could show up. There are lost and you know who the hell knows as far as what advent personnel we might encounter next. Um so it's going to get very interesting very quick, I think. And technically, we're taking out three squaddies. One of them, of course, is the Skirmisher, which, you know, not bad abilities to begin with. Do we go ahead and do free reloads here? I think we do, but the question is on who. I'm thinking the Skirmisher actually might be more valuable. It might be more valuable to put the autoloader on, on uh, Honda's weapon for right now. I think that might be the case. All right, well, we'll we'll <laughs> we'll try this. We will definitely try this. But Operation Tomb Giant, moderate difficulty. Sit rep is that there are lost, um, which could work to our advantage. It could also be part of our downfall. So we got to be careful. Um, if we play our cards right, I think we'll make it out of this fairly okay. The thing that is bugging me. Here, and I, I, I want to fix this if I can. Customize Obi-Wan's head, specifically his neck. That looks a little bit better. It's not great, but that is better. Okay. I think we are set to go. So we're taking out Cody, Hondo Onaka, our newest soldier here, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Commander Colt, and Commander Fordo, or Captain Fordo, I think. Is it Captain or Commander? I can never remember with Fordo, but we're taking out Fordo, and here we go. Oh, by the way, people who were saying uh, two episodes ago, because I did watch some of the comments, because I have, I've been backlogging the, the videos and whatnot for my own time, time frame and whatnot. People were saying two episodes ago that Plo Koon's arms were incorrect, they were Ahsoka's, they are not. They are, in fact, his, because if you look closely 
at the fingers. The fingers are not Ahsoka's. Ahsoka, you know, is a uh, Targrunta. They have hands just like humans. Last I checked, those hands were scaly lizard hands with um, with large nails. So they may be thin like Ahsoka's, but they are a part of Plo Koon's costume. So I would suggest y'all check when I changed up the arms. <laughs> Anyways, and I think it also categorizes uh, differently between male and female. So like for Ahsoka, she's the only female Jedi that I have installed in terms of mods for. I mean, of course, there is the the mods that I have for Aayla Sakura, who we will play with at some point. I just don't know when. Um, maybe I get her in the training, uh, the uh, Gorilla Tech School next. Um, but they are they are categorized in terms of the arm selection in you know male or female. So I was looking at all of the male selection, and those were definitely Plo Koons. Ahsoka's were not in there. She they're they're on the female. Uh, side of the list, so, um, yeah, anyways, let's get to the mission, shall we? Operation Tomb Giant, here we go. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to take a quick second to thank you all for, uh, all the love and support you've given on this series. I, I, it's definitely my most popular one at the moment, and I definitely will continue it. I'm thinking I'm actually gonna make this be three days a week for you all. So I have Stellaris the first two days of the week on Monday and Tuesday. Advent ran into problems while airlifting supplies from a secure depot in this area. We have an opportunity here to take advantage of their delay. Locate their supply crates and tag them with our transponders. Firebrand will pick up the signal and snatch the cargo. Okay, so what I'm thinking is yeah, that that that's all great, Central. I listen. To that. Don't worry, I, I listened to you. You gave you give great intel and great confidence boosts. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking two days uh, out of the week, so Monday and Tuesday are gonna be Stellaris still. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Because of the series being so popular, it is going to be XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, the Clone Wars campaign, as of course we're playing now. Um, on the weekend, will be, or excuse me, on Saturday, will be um, Minecraft and Rome Total War. Uh, which, if you're not watching my Rome Total War uh, series, if you're interested, you probably should. Uh, it is a great series going on so far. I give a lot of uh, tactical advice and whatnot. It's actually getting pretty interesting. And uh, there are going to be a couple episodes premiering tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. There will have been several episodes premiering the Saturday whenever this last... Or the, whenever the last Saturday was. Uh, by the time this episode comes out. Um, that, uh... Yeah. I'm recording this ahead of time, basically, and for me, the episodes are coming out tomorrow. So for me, today is Friday, and um, and they're all coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday. But for you all, it might have been in the past or in the future. It just depends on when this episode comes out and when those episodes come out. So um, it actually would be both because it would be the previous Saturday and the future Saturday. So... Anyways, let's get down to it. I'm playing too much Back to the Future in my mind right now, and it's getting a little ridiculous. Let's go. All right. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area. Oh, and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. It's Located one of mark the crates with transponders. And Firebrand will handle the rest. It's one of these missions. Ah, uh, great. The good thing is, is I can get up here with Hondo. Freaking love that grapple. And I can get through here without alerting anybody. 
And I should be able to get to here without alerting anybody. Okay, that's that's actually pretty good that we're not uh, getting anybody at the moment. Can I get... Okay, I'm going to have to come over here if I don't want to... Which is fine. It's actually kind of fine. Um, I don't have a sharpshooter with me, do I? Alright, Cody, you're going to be up top. Oh, actually, can he get through that window? He should be able to get through that window. Closing on target position now. I hope he's able to get through that window. Open up the door. There's nobody. Let's go in closer for a peek. Alright. Colt is going to go here. Fordo is going to go here. So we're kind of spread out a little bit. These mutons seem a little more agile than the ones we fought in the past. It looks like they're still serving as the aliens front line though. We got Mandalorians. Okay. That's going to be interesting. I mean, they're, they're technically mutants, but that's still going to be interesting to figure out how we're going to do that. Got some pretty decent shots here, too. I'll set Colt up by the door, or the, by the window over here. I do see one of them. That is not great shots at all. He's right there. Right out in the open. I'm going to move Fordo to right here. Cody is going to go right here. I'm going to shift Obi-Wan around them. He can actually move quite far. I'm just going to do concealed overwatch at the moment. Just in case. They are moving in. I'm actually intrigued to see how these guys are going to perform. Okay, we do have the loss. I don't really want to use any grenades at the moment. Hold on. Let's go back to um, Hondo for a moment. So what have we got? We got Mandalorian Skirmisher, Mandalorian Mercenary. So that's technically, it's, it's a Muton, but that's technically a Skirmisher. Could do justice. I could do justice on both of them. Really? Which one do I want to do? This one. Justice comes. Here we go. Oh! Hondo! Oh, that's a sick animation. Oh, wow. Ninety percent for Cody. Come on, Cody. Nice. Go, Obi-Wan. Don't unveil anybody else, please. Oh, nice. Hostile target down. That was nice. 
Uh, okay, what do we got? Illyrian Core, we're gonna need it. Advanced Laser Sight, nice. Akasha Crystal? Whatever the hell that is. Alien Data Cache, nice. Dude! I want some Mandalorians here. I await their approach. Alright, we're gonna get into this because we're gonna need to get on this thing right quick before they charge after it. Go Fordo. Go Fordo. Okay, they're marking some crates, which is fine. Advent has already marked a couple of crates for extraction. If we move quickly, we may be able to mark them for ourselves and prevent their airlift. Okay. I'm kind of scared to move forward, I'm not going to lie. Fordo's gonna go take a peek. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that was bad idea. That was a really, really bad idea. <laughs> oh, Fordo is definitely in trouble. Alright, um, fudge. Could do Leap Strike over here, that would definitely get something going. Could do Slash. Not a whole lot of options, is there? Tactical movement. I have an idea. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have an idea. This grapple ability is going to save me, I think. Well, of course, as I order. So, yeah, um... He's in a little bit of hot water. Death Incinerator. Please get it. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, this is not good. I have an idea. I hope this blows up. I hope it doesn't hit the crate that's I just saw there. It probably will. Unless they leave us no choice, we should try to avoid damaging the crates if we want to bring home anything useful. Yeah, I hear you. But it was kind of a situation in which I needed to do it. Oh. Yeah, that was bad. That was, um... That was really bad. Oh, 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 wait. Is it, Oh, it's gonna be right there. Fricker. Alright, well, you know what? Um... What does force speed do again? I, I need to get on I need to get on these guys crap well I can at least get one of these I think good work Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active this is going to be tough. I think we're in a lot of trouble here. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're going to have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Yeah, we're in a lot of... Oh, he's moving twice. Order ah! Oh, we just got severely lucky with those two. Firebrand is 
on deck for recovery. There is so much going on right now. Death Trooper, Death Trooper, lost, 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 lost. Explosion device. Lost Death Trooper. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay. I also need to see what's over at Obi-Wan's position. Cody's way the hell back there. Lost. Death Trooper. Lost. Lost. Dasher. There's no, there's no incin, in, 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 there's no incendiary trooper there. I need to get Cody somewhere. Yeah, Cody, I'm just gonna have to move. I think right here is gonna be a better position for him than, than whatever else. Um, Mox? Actually, let's get Fordo online here. Okay, that's one out of a million. I did see that. I'm very impressed. Come on, Fordo! Let's do a quick reload. Nice. Nice. Fordo is killing it right now. Oh, Fordo! Okay, reload. Fordo knows how to clear a room. I can say that much. Alright, let's get... Hondo. Oh, dear God. Uh, it never ends. It never ends. Alright. Let's help Obi-Wan here. That's a brute. That's not nice. They live no more. My weapon is almost defeated. We deny our creators. Free reload. I require ammunition. Which is nice. Very nice. So I got a choice here, pretty much. Yeah, Colt is not in the greatest of spots. Let's go in the sniper. He freaking missed! Fire. Ah, still not dead. I need to take care of this sniper. That's what I need to do. Yeah, I know that. Avent's marked another crate. I know, I know they have. Oh, where is he going? What the hell is he doing? This is the weirdest Advent Trooper ever. Well, that was good. Alright, I feel like... Oh, Cody! Kill. Nicely done.
Cody's come to town. Cody's in the game. Reload. All right. I'm thinking. Nice. Mark supplies. Cover me. Reloading. Okay, I'm really hoping that nothing comes out of the dark for me. Okay. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Okay, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and go to work. Alrighty. I see a crate over here. I see a crate over here. Let's go see if we can get him. Carefully, I might add. Okay. Let's move fast. Definitely, let's move fast. Covering fire, go! Moving to position. Obi Wan's gonna go over here. In position. And just kind of stay put for the moment. I go as ordered. We don't need to do anything crazy. Honda's gonna move over here. And he'll move over this way just to be with Obi-Wan there for a little bit. Colt, I'm gonna have him dash up with Fordo. Just to give him cover. I need to work on my Grenadier's aim. That's a little, uh... Oh, okay. They've, uh, they've marked a crate. Fair enough. They might get one depending on what happens. Oh! Hello! Hello, Lost. Now, the question is... Do I be greedy? A useful aid. Question is, do I be greedy and go after that far crate down there? Death incinerator. Mm. Okay. That's one down out of a million. I'm pretty confident that Hondo can probably clear this room quite well. Okay. And that was it. All right. Okay. Come on, Colt. Nice. Okay, we're gonna have to mark the supplies here. I think we, oh, we can't go for it. Okay, that's one. Ah, oh, it's a miss. 
Okay, Cody from downtown, maybe? Nice. And we shall go... ...for this over here. So they're gonna get one crate, which is fine, but we're gonna get two. There's actually another crate around the corner here, isn't there? There is! Oh, hello. Hello, lost officer. Oh, hi. Okay. Lots of lost. Understandable, especially with that death incinerator. You know. Oh, right. Yes. Um... I forgot some of them had weapons. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that they had um that they had weapons there. Um let's reroute Practal. Let's get a bearing on who we have down here. We have the lost down here. We have brute down that way. We have a lost down there. Death trooper down here. Maybe we do justice? Let's do justice on one of these guys. Nice hit. Clears one of them out. Oh! There's a death incinerator over there. I really don't want them to blow up crates, so we'll go on this guy. Nice hit. Not a kill, but a nice hit. I want that crate, though. But, you know, given that there is a death incinerator over there, and we have... <laughs> we did destroy... Two crates so far. Ah, oh, Fordo. Rare miss from you. Cody? Nice. I can get Cody in here. Nice. And that does free up Obi-Wan to do something. Which is going this guy. The negotiator strikes. Okay. He is unlocked at Guardian. Nice. Oh! Hi! Okay. We got two troopers now. That incinerator's going somewhere. I think I have an idea. Fordo? This will be a nice time to actually blow this thing up. What? Now you decide not to blow up? Nicely done, Fordo. That was pretty well done, actually. It's not really a place that I can get Cody over here to take a shot, so I might as well just go on Overwatch for right now. If I go here, will I have a better advantage at? Up top, 67. That's pretty good. Not good enough. Alright, 
Let's go ahead and get this crate over here. I think we just go in here with Obi Wan. Nice. Oh, we did it. Confirmed. Mission accomplished. We did it. work. Absolutely did it. By the way, sorry for the pause in the middle of the episode there. Um, there, there was a little bit of a. I had a phone call to make, so I uh, had a little brief pause. Uh, but yeah, pretty good. Let's take a mission photo. Take it back, Earth. Let's randomize that. Ooh, man, that's weird. With, I love that actually. Advent will burn. Where they go, the aliens die. But only the cool aliens like Hondo get to stay. And Numa. Hmm. Sorry. I took the second to eat some dry mini wheats. Frosted mini wheats at that. All right. Let's go ahead. 34 total enemies. That was a lot of enemies. We we encountered Mandalorians. Kind of a crap ton of lost. It was all pretty good. Let's go ahead and continue to go back to base. And I believe now, too, that Obi Wan is our highest ranking Jedi so far. 20 years of peace and prosperity will not be undone by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents today. We stand with the elders. Trust in their wisdom, and we shall overcome this crisis. Yeah, I think um, I think Obi Wan is our highest-ranking Jedi at a Guardian status. I believe so. We did have one injury with Hondo because I completely forgot that the Lost had weapons. As if things weren't bad enough between the elders, oh. armies, and the chosen. Now we've got zombies to deal with. Oh, what? We got promotions across the board? Oh, hell yes. Okay, let's do Cody first. Uh, Haywire Protocol. I want you to continue down that, that combat protocol lineup. The Pirate Gent. Total combat, throwing a grenade or using an item no longer ends the turn. We also have Reflex here as well. When fired upon, gain one extra action turn, triggers once per mission. I like that a little bit better. Obi-Wan! What have we got for Guardian? Force Heal? Oh, what? Heal allies or self with the force also removes negative status effects and revives bleeding out squad mates. Oh, what? Blade Storm free holocron attacks on any enemies that enter or attack from melee range. And then we got Force Drain. Drain the life of targets around you to heal yourself. Oh my god. Do you know how insane that is? I was thinking if there was going to be Bladestorm, I'm going to get that next. But now there's Force Heal? I don't know. I do have a ton of, I, I do have a relatively good amount of soldier AP, so it's not like I couldn't go back and get one of these. The problem is, I think, at this level it's more expensive. Yeah, it's more expensive. So this is 10, this is 11, this is probably going to be 12 AP right here. Oh man, I don't know what to do. Let me, let me think on it and go back here for a moment. Let's go to, uh, Colt. Um, Shredder. Fordo. I, okay. Here's the thing. We got Pistol Whip here. We got Leg Shot. I want to see what Trick Shot is all about. 
I want to see what it's all about. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I want to see what it does. And I probably will in the next episode, because I want to bring Fordo out. He'll have a couple of days rest, probably. I'm thinking... I mean, I'm probably going to end up getting Force Heal using some AP anyways. But Bladestorm. I'm thinking Bladestorm. And I think I've decided that I want to go back... See, that's 12 right there. Do I use... Do I use Force Heal now? Or do I pick this up now? Or do I go back and get Force Push? Which Obi-Wan, of course, is definitely known for. Tough decisions. Tough decisions. We are definitely over episode time. Um, I am backlogging this. Look at all that. Look at all that stuff. Muton Ops, so you lost Autopsy, nice. All of that is good to go. Gone to Ground, of course, is still active, but that's gonna do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Feel free, of course, as always, to Hulk smash that like button. Comment in the comment section below if you're new. Do not forget to subscribe. And as always, may the force be ever. Keep an eye on Tigan, but at this point, we need all the help we can get. May the force be ever in your favor.